open lines. You know it's whatever if you fight, I fight. Tell me what's the Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free in the heart? from Skylar Cole singing our national anthem. Put me on top, city on lock, they like when he gon' drop. We ain't had enough, speaking down, but they know who coming up. And I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far from me. Never caught off that one too far from me. Never caught off that one day. Never caught off that one day. But I'm still on my way. Welcome and good evening. We welcome you to our Monday night broadcast of the NBA here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Hart. David Aldridge is on our sideline. And a chance now to take a look at the schedule for the Chicago Bulls. On Wednesday, they'll take on John Wall and the Phoenix Sun. And then on Sunday, it'll be the Detroit Pistons coming into town. And that game against Milwaukee, it's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. And checking out Utah's opening lineup, We'll see Markinen and Collins at forward. Jordan Clarkson is out there with Taylor Horton Tucker. And it's Kessler in at the five down low. And for Chicago, Rujovic is the pivot. Williams is in the other post spot. Levine on the wing along with DeRozan. And it's White in a point. When you take a glance at the season and standings, Greg, teams are still kind of feeling things out. Yeah, it's just... Here's Horton Tucker. Guarded by Levine. Marking in good. And he's not going to miss that. Horton Tucker. Marking in kicks to Clarkson. And the Jazz, another three. Next time. Here's Kessler. Hasn't made one yet. The three. White, good. And you have got to honor. Jazz passing it around. Here's Markinen. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Get back on track. Horton Tucker finds Markinen. A three ball. A three pointer is right on target. Six. Williams comes with a double team. Here's Markinen. Nice to the hoop. And Markinen throws it down. And boy, it's tough. Defensively, you want to be up on marketing to contest the jumper, but he can also put it on the floor and blow by you. And now back to Carter. Pass to Craig. That's in there. Carter with the assist. And what kind of this five rebound advantage, Kevin? It's stolen by Carter. And here we go. Carter heading to the hoop. Drops in the breakaway lane. Every team looking to get him. The more he hits from outside, the more the floor will open up. Levine against Olenek. Three. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound and advantage is starting to add up. You know, Greg, for the Olympics, basketball is a shared family passion. Yeah, I mean, Kelly's father. Now, Caruso. Five on the clock. Shoots over Horton Tucker. Again, Chicago. And you can tell. Now, Horton Tucker. He has six. Kept the line. Out to Clarkson. Nice ball movement by Utah. Sexton for three. Hits it from three-point range. And it's a seven-point Utah lead. Oh, great ball movement there. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Pass to Craig. Kicks it to White. 
DeRozan for three. Trains it from beyond the arc. DeRozan's got six. Half in the game clock. Horton Tucker. The pass to Kessler. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. Buries it from three-point range. Three triples for him this quarter. Four overall. It's White on the wing. Here's DeRozan. Six points for him. That will count. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. Welcome, everybody. Let's jump right in with a look at the Players of the Week. Out in the East, Joel Embiid. Embiid beats you with that versatility. He can score from anywhere on the floor, rebounds with the best of them, and he defends at a high level. I mean, what more can you ask for, Shaq, huh? And let's review how things are going for the Jazz. They find themselves in a tight one here at the half. Man, it's hard to imagine a hotter team from downtown. Better turn on that AC because those guys are cooking. Now, that could flip on them in a hurry, but I wouldn't put my money on it. Some outstanding shooters in that lineup. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. Over to the left wing. On deep, Collins, and Vucevic pulls it down. Vucevic has got his fifth rebound in this one. And DeRozan, here we go. That gives them the lead. It's amazing. He is one of the best. Trills the baseline jumper. DeRozan's got five. Get in against DeRozan. Floater. Yes, that goes in. DeRozan's got 15 points. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half to the paint. And it's Drummond with the jam. Drummond, a, a huge target rolling to the rim. White looking around. Drummond goes back up. And the layup is up and in. And the Bulls lead by a high motor, keeps Drummond engaged defensively. He doesn't want to let any shots go in. Here's Craig. That one falls, coming off Carter's feet. Mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone's contributing. Now, here's Sexton. He's got nine. Sexton has to just keep. Pass to Caruso. And the Bulls, another three. It's almost like... Drummond sets the screen for DeRozan. And Drummond throws it down. And just a dynamic. And the Jazz pushing it up now. Right side, Sexton. With two seconds left. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And sometimes it seems like they're shooting around 41% on the night. Levine, the bounce pass. Craig passes to Levine. Fires for three. Craig, good. And the Bulls, guys, mm. turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. That's the last thing you need. Kicks to Levine. Pass to Caruso. Back to Levine. From deep, sinks the three-pointer. Yeah, how about the percentage to Craig? Vucevic dishes to White. It's up a three, and again, it's the Bulls from deep. And the D is Pass to Collins. Now, here's Clarkson. DeRozan defending. From deep, Collins drills the three-pointer. Collins has got five. Six to shoot. Williams dishes to Levine. Good, great play by Williams to set it up. Williams sets a screen for White. There's 
the dish to Williams. An easy two points on the way. Williams has got it all. Here's Horton Tucker. Guarded by Levine. Horton Tucker, that's good. Right the pass to DeRozan. A fadeaway, and he swishes it right through. DeRozan's got coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Horton Tucker, the pass to Clarkson. Good! He has tied up this game. Now here's Levine. Not a lot of room. Pass to Caruso. It's a nice ball movement here by Chicago. From 12 feet out. Ooh, off timeout, timeout. And so the timeout by Will Hardy here. And so it's Utah here with the ball. Here's Horton Tucker. Over Levine. Oh, it's no good. And we're headed to overtime. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. And we'll get going after this from United Center. Dishes to Levine. Williams for three. Offensive rebound. You have to watch this. This man has elite athleticism, and it makes him a threat on that offensive glass. Vucevic the pass to DeRozan. Vucevic is screen on Markinen. Here's DeRozan. The 10-footer finds the target. Just about two minutes in now to this overtime period. What a game. Good on the three-point shot. The ability. Over Markinen. Again, Chicago. Guys, that's just... Hudson against Williams. Shot on the wing. And with that, the Chicago lead is cut down to six and the bucket from Clarkson. A monster basket by Clarkson. This guy can score in so many different ways. It's hard to stop him in those big moments. So he goes two for two at the lock. And it's an eight-point game. Sexton against White. Takes a step back. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. This is what leaders do. Are you got him? Free throw good, Sexton. And that's an intentional foul. Second one is good. We both at the line. It's a seven-point game. I'm not going to lie. That's big, making all of those. Sexton, the pass to Collins. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. It falls! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And you can trust an efficient shooter like Markman in the clutch. He's going to get a good look. No choice but to foul there. But Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. And it's desperation time now. Does it matter if it's a two or a three? They need the quickest shot possible. And they've been a different team here in overtime. They just seem to have lost their energy. Shot's good by Clarkson. The man is a microwave. This team loves Clarkson's take charge attitude. When it so the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And so both free throws are good. And it's a six-point ball game. Calm and cool. And his free throw put a bow on this one. Nice way to finish the game. Up. And so it's once we got into OT. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much, Zach. Some big baskets for you down the stretch. What's it like when you have the ball in your hands in those moments? Oh, it was great. 
I'm not scared to take or miss any shot, you know, and, uh, you know, I'll go down there swinging every time. Well, you connected at the right times tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Zach Levine.